Hey guys, welcome to D-Bike. My name is Dominic and in today's episode we're looking at the carbon bar stem mountain bike combo where we measure how accurately the manufacturer cut off the bar ends and finally adjust the width of the bars to its perfect length using 3D printed cutting guides. This carbon handlebar stem combo comes from a Chinese manufacturer called Airwolf, uh, from which I also purchased my carbon mountain bike frame. If you haven't seen the in-depth analysis of the frame, then please consider watching the video. I will link it up here um, so you can check it out. I purchased this bar stem combo with a stem length of 90 millimeters uh, for in total $64.80. And after submitting my order, a salesman or woman from Airwolf contacted me directly and asked to which width they should cut the bars. My preferred width of the handlebars is 720 millimeters uh, for cross-country racing. Um, however, I asked them to cut them to 780 millimeters in case something goes wrong. And to check that, let's measure the total width of the bar and also the individual sides um, to check if they cut the bars correctly. So let's measure first the total weight of the bar stem combo. And the handlebar weighs exactly 271 grams. And we're still going to cut the bar to my desired width. We measure now the total length of the handlebar. And as I mentioned, I ordered the handlebar to be 780 millimeters. So let's measure it side to side. And I hope you can see it, but it's not 780 millimeters. It's rather 766 millimeters. So there's a discrepancy of like 14 millimeters. And let's see. Um, which side is longer or are they equally long? So we have here meter and let's measure just the left side first and the left side is roughly 386 millimeters wide whereas the right side is roughly 378 millimeters wide. So there is quite a discrepancy between the two sides. That's why I 3D printed um, some plastic guides which can be mounted on each side to compensate um, for the discrepancy in the width so we can clamp it. Um, so we first mount uh, one part and then the other one. And then we can clamp together the two parts and then with the saw we can exactly cut perpendicular to the axis of the handlebar and we get a clean cut. So let's saw the handlebars. So what I usually do first is I use some tape so that the carbon doesn't delaminate um, at the cut. So what we do is I marked where we should cut the bars and I will use some tape and I firmly roll it one revolution on one side and then we do the same on the other side where I marked the exact width as well. This is a really important step because carbon is prone to delaminate and with that we clamp the sheets a bit better together. So we have here a protective sheet and then on the other side as well. So let's mount now uh, the two cutting guides. So we start first with the right side. So as you can see here uh, it matches exactly to my marked line. So let's tidy it up. So I tightened now one side and I have here my special carbon saw 
and I will use the thickness of the blade to determine the gap between the two guides and then also mount this side. So we have now a very rigid uh, cutting guide with exactly the thickness of the blade. And now let's cut the handlebar on this side. So it is very important to cut it very gently. So I hold it down firmly and then very gently Right, that was the left side. We got quite a clean cut, as you can see. Uh, the fit between the guides was very neat, so we assured a very clean cut. There is no delamination, also because of the, the cutting guide, uh, because we clamped the sheets together also with the cutting guide. So we dismount now uh, this piece and we put it on the left side. So we repeat this procedure now for the left side. If you're interested in uh, those cutting guides, um, I will share a link in the comments down below uh, where you can download the, the CAD file of uh, those 3D printed guides. So you can also use them to cut your handlebars. So let's cut now the other side. All right, so we cut now also the other side of the handlebars. And also here, um, there is no delamination. So I dismount now um, also this side, and then we have a closer look at uh, the bar ends. So usually what happens is that at the end, so when you cut through at the end, there uh, is always a little um, notch uh, from the cutting so otherwise it really looks nice at uh, the end hopefully you can see that um, but we still have to um, grind it a little bit away also on this side um, there's a little bit of the sheets coming sticking out so to remove the debris here uh, the imperfections, the small imperfections, um, we'll send it down with a machine, sending machine, um, to get a really nice flush bar end. All right, let's send it down. All right, we will look now at the new weight of the cut handlebar. And we saved 10 grams, so now it's 262 grams, so rather 9 grams. Um, but yeah, this is for 720 millimeters, so just measure it. And yeah, as you can see, 720 millimeters. Pretty happy with that. Overall, the finish of the carbon bar is very neat. Um, the 3K woven carbon with the matte finish really looks impressive to me. Um, apart from the look, however, um, I really hope that the strength of the bar uh, can withstand the forces acting from uh, cross-country mountain biking. Um, because safety is always uh, top priority. I mean, it's always nice to have uh, light components, but in the end, it's always safety first. Uh, I will surely update you uh, after I thoroughly tested um, the handlebars. Uh, but for now, 
Um, I'd like to thank you very much for watching and if you like the video then um, I would really appreciate if you like the video, uh, subscribe and if you press the bell icon you get notified when I upload my next video in this series. Um, so with that, thank you very much, see you next time, bye!